Hi everyone, you know it's been a while since I did a vlog, so here we are again. So coffee, tea, wine, and life. I do have a few things to go over, so I will put some timestamps um, below as well. That way you can kind of skip around to not spend all day with me. Alrighty, cheers everyone. See you in a few minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my vlog coffee, tea, wine, and life. I have a new coffee today, so I'm excited to be trying this for the first time in front of you guys. But yeah, I just want to welcome you to my channel again. And it just means so much to me that you guys are able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join me and my friend for future videos. Oh yeah, so I've got my zombie friend here. I took him out a little early for Halloween because, oh my gosh, I'm on season 10 of Walking Dead. I love that series. I have no idea why I never watched it when it came on, but I'm looking forward to the new season. I think I'm gonna have to get like AMC or something like that so that I can watch some new episodes. So I'm excited about that. Sad that I'm running out of my Netflix uh, season 10. But anyway, I've um, got a few things I want to go over today, so I'm just going to leave some timestamps below. I've got a giveaway coming up that'll be in the timestamp. Um, I got my August Look Fantastic box. I thought it was September, but it's really my August box, so we'll do that below. And then just some chit chat, so I guess I will get started now, but I want to drink my coffee first because my whipped cream is melting, even though it is like 66 degrees right now. It's a little after seven, so it's getting to be dusk. We're going down to the, like maybe 46 tonight. Coffee is gonna be handy. Why I have bugs flying around me, I have no idea. Cheers, everyone. Mm, this is so good. So again, I wanna thank Alma Tysa. I'm gonna leave her below. She is such a sweet, sweet lady. Her channel is growing so fast. She does like the diamond paintings and she does unboxings and oh, she's just such a sweet lady. But anyway, she got me started. You know how I love my coffee? On Bones Coffee. So anyway, they got some new seasonal flavors and she had mentioned that she loves the caramel apple coffee. So this is one of them that I just got. Came back for the season. So looking forward to trying the caramel coffee bones coffee but the one i'm trying today is a jack-o-lantern and this one is a pumpkin spice flavor yeah so i love my smart sips coffee last year i got the pumpkin spice latte that was really really good but i've been trying some new things so i'm excited to try this of course i had to put some whipped cream on it because what's a sense of fat on pumpkin spice coffee without whipped cream and caramel topping yeah gonna have another sip and then we'll get into the vlog so thanks again alma i appreciate you sharing that uh, coffee with me so i'll have the information for bones coffee below too they have some really really nice flavors um one of my favorites is of course the black russian i love that one there's a french vanilla that i love <sighs> yeah so much so much coffee not enough time in the day cheers Alrighty, so first I just kind of want to start by saying it's 9-11, and oh my gosh, this, um, I think just about everybody knows what they were doing on 9-11 and just has such vague memories of that day. I know Rick was flying that day, and um, it's playing, um, they, when they shut the airlines down and everyone had to land, he landed in Chicago, and um, they kicked everybody out of the airport find your own transportation whatever so it was it was interesting that day trying to get him home but that was the least of the problems that were going on and um, I'm sure everyone remembers the images of the planes hitting the Twin Towers and the plane that went to the Pentagon and the one that the passengers took control and the plane you know crashed in Pennsylvania but oh my gosh my heart goes out to all the families all the loved ones, family, their friends, or the people that they've lost, to the first responders who probably still have nightmares to this day of the atrocities that they've seen and, and tried to help people. And so they got that 
going on for them, the post-traumatic stress, plus all the health issues that they're having now from breathing in all the fumes of the debris and the smoke and the dust. So my heart goes out to everyone that suffered from 9-11. Day, I, I don't think any American will ever forget. Also, this week was sad on Thursday this week. Queen Elizabeth uh, from the UK passed away. Such an awesome, awesome lady. And even though, you know, I'm in the United States, I mean, I've just known about Queen Elizabeth for so long and just watched her throughout the years. And the, the fancy state dinners and the crowns and the jewelry and just her diplomacy and she's an icon of the world this powerful woman that would laugh and do James Bond things like jumping out of airplanes and in her ball gown and having marmalade sandwich and tea with Paddington Bear just a wonderful sense of humor wonderful lady grandmother mother great-grandmother she's been through so much and you know the images I know we've all just seen her in like the Platinum Jubilee and you know she started to miss more and more things and I don't think anyone will ever forget um, the funeral of her husband Prince Philip and during the time of COVID and limited people and just seeing her sit alone in the church with her black mask on and the tears in her eyes it's just an image I don't think any of us will ever forget so my heart goes out to the UK her family, all the Commonwealth countries that have known and adored her and loved her all this time. So I just wanted to get those out of the way. And um, so now I look fantastic. So I thought I got this box a couple of weeks ago and I thought, wow, this is really early. I got my September box already. Well, you know, it's a couple of weeks ago. It was August. It was my August box. So I thought I should open that for you. So I will started on this so with the box for August was this pretty kind of like an ocean blue shade it's not really showing up so it's a dusk here it's um probably going on 7 30 so not too much light out here I got my ring light on which kind of blows some colors out a beautiful box the boxes are nice and sturdy I already took everything out except for the pamphlet and of course you get your look fantastic tissue paper and all kind of foozies and stuff in between and you still get uh, at least I'm still getting a pamphlet with these I know some people are like with glossy box and just getting like the QR codes and things like that to check online but anyway for this you get five sometimes six items usually it's at least five deluxe size samples sometimes you do get a full size product uh, value they say is always supposed to be around sixty dollars um, if you get it month to month it's nineteen dollars if you sign up for three months it goes down to eighteen six months it goes down to seventeen when i signed up i did it for the year i prepaid i did use a code that someone had at the time so my first box was a dollar and then for the rest of the year it's sixteen dollars a month I still I think they take it out every month so it's not that you have to prepay you just kind of have to make that commitment shipping is free it comes from the UK so you get items that maybe you don't normally see here so it's just a really fun box to get especially if you know skincare and we all know hashtag Nancy has no idea I rely on you people to help me so anyway so the edit box and I guess this is from August so it'll show you this page and so it says what's in your box so you could get any mix of those items the next page shows you items that they're pretty sure is going to be in your box i know one of them isn't but it tells you at least about those three items it's got different articles on like how to use the gua sha stone and probably a few other things and also might give you a heads up about what's going to be in future boxes Alrighty, so let's get into this. So the first item that I have is a vitamin C serum. So it's 35% vitamin C perfecting serum. It's probably not going to focus very well. So it will tell you a little bit about the product, how to use it. So it helps, it's supposed to help kind of brighten your skin maybe tighten it help with fine lines wrinkles things like that so just a brightening type serum it does come in this little pump so I am looking 
forward to using that. The next item that we got that was in the list of things that we were going to definitely get is from Philip Kingsley. And this is an elasticizer for your hair. And um, what they say to do with this, it says it's a multi-award winning pre-shampoo treatment. It encapsulates the true freshness of seaside living with its dreamy scent. It's suitable for even the finest of hair. It adds elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine, whilst visibly reducing breakage over time. It says you should dampen your hair with water, apply, cover your hair with a shower cap or towel, leave on 10 to 20 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and then follow with your regular shampoo and conditioner. To me, that seems like a lot of work but maybe it's kind of like maybe one of those days you'd say, I'm gonna do a Nancy spa day. I'm going to do this and then do the rest of myself. Who, who knows, but yeah. So it's just a, just a nice product. I'm looking forward to trying this for my hair. The next we got is the Squasha Stone. And I know I've got these in other boxes and I, I've just given them away. So this is a Jade Green Quasha. And, and I'm probably saying that wrong, so I apologize. But it says, thanks to the unique shape of the gua sha, it's able to massage hard to reach areas for an even looking complexion. Regular massages using the gua sha stimulate the skin and smooth over fine lines. And it minimizes the appearance of fatigue, puffiness, and dark circles. So again, and it says uh, a tip would be to put this in the refrigerator to use a nice curling, um, not curling, cooling sensation. But anyway, I know I've given these away in the past. I know people swear by these. They say they're fantastic. Other people just say it's a waste of time. I'm on the fence, but I thought if I do try it, I would maybe just use it for a month and see what happens, but just on one side of my face. So I need you guys to tell me, do I use it on the side of my face that has the scars and the tissue and the muscles missing from the cancer removal? Can you believe that was like 16 years ago? I know. Or should I use it on the side that's sagging from the stroke? So is it the scar side or the stroke side? I should try it on. Because right now they both group about the same. Yeah, I'm lucky like that. So, yes, just tell me what side you think I should use, use it on. And we'll maybe try that experiment and see if I notice any difference in a month's time. Alrighty, so next we got this Sashawan. And it's an Ocean Mist Volume Shampoo. So it's a nice size to try it out. You didn't get the maxing, matching conditioner. I know I do like to use, it's made in Sweden. I know I do like to use a shampoo with a matching conditioner, but it's a nice size. I'm curious about the scent where it says Ocean Mist. It does have a little safety seal on it. So if I use it, I'll let you know or otherwise it may end up in a giveaway, so I will leave that seal on, even though I'm dying to know what does it smell like. Alrighty, so next we got this lip balm, and it's called Meet Matt Hughes. And it's Shade of Honest. So it's a liquid lipstick. I'm sure it's got a doe foot applicator or whatever. It does look like maybe a nice ball shade. It's kind of like a pinky kind of like pink, pinkish brown, I don't know. But anyway, I think it's gonna to be too dark for me, so this will be in a future giveaway. Next, we've got this really interesting eyeshadow stick. I've never used one of these, so I'm curious to see how it works. It's called Double Act Shadow Stick, and it's cookies and cream, so those are the two colors right there. And so I'm interested to see how this works. Colors are really light, so that's the lightest one. So that's the cream. And then this side is the cookie. So it looks like it would might give you a really nice, kind of maybe a quick look and go. I don't know. So if you've used this, or you've got this and you've used it, let me know how it works. I'm curious to know how it works. It does look like a fun product. So that was everything. That was in my Look Fantastic box. So we got this cool double-sided double -sided eyeshadow stick that I'm curious about. Don't know if I'm going to use it. This uh, lipstick that's going to be in a future giveaway. This shampoo that will be like a few shampoos for me. Love the color. I'm interested to know about the scent. 
Um, that's volume. I could use some volume, so I may end up using this. This washi stone that I'm curious to maybe experiment with. So let me know what side of the face I should try it on. Stroke side, cancer side. And we got this Philip Kingsbury, this elasticizer. It's kind of like a pre-shampoo treatment. Interested to try this. I usually kind of like to just kind of come and go, but I'm interested to see what that sounds feels like and results. And this serum, vitamin C serum from, I don't know where it's from, Allies of the Skin. So that was everything in my box. Again, I paid $16. I think it's a good buy some nice items to try so I'm excited about that and I'm going to have a sip of my coffee before it gets too cold you can see my whipped cream melted that's always sad okay so now we're going to do the giveaway part but I'll show you my shirt first because I should have done at the beginning so I get two of these tops it's fall y'all so I got one in black and then this one in tan but like I said it right now what is it at 66 degrees and I got my bear I forgot what it was but it's from QVC bear something and it's like wearing a blanket love it so anyway the giveaway so I keep getting these things that I know I'm not going to use and I always say oh yeah I'm not going to try it but that's going to be for a future giveaway or something so I've got like the glossy box and box boxy charm and things like that so these boxes that I've got bits and pieces in of things that I didn't keep so part of what I should do to declutter is just go for it and say let's do a giveaway so I got some things started and I'll run this through today's the 11th so we'll run it through for another Sunday or two so we'll do um, on the 25th we'll pull a winner and so I'm got this started we'll add some things to it I'll probably use like a medium size the USPS box and um, just to kind of add to what's in here just to kind of fill up the box so it doesn't get lonely and um, again um, all the standard rules are going to apply that this isn't affiliated with YouTube or any of the products that are in here. It's something that I'm doing with my own money, just a way of thanking you guys and helping me to declutter at the same time. Yeah, thanks for that. And um, yeah, so you'd have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be publicly subscribed to my channel. People get some subscribed all the time. Who knows why? People that I've watched and comment on a lot of the videos every now and then I'll look and say, why am I not subscribed to them? How did I get unsubscribed? So you do have to be publicly subscribed. Um, I'll have the code word. We're just going to do enter me. I like to kind of keep it simple. We'll pull it on the 25th. Um, you have, do have to have a U.S. mailing address. And um, yeah, I think that's it. If I missed anything, it'll be below. Once I ship it, um, I'll get a tracking number for you. But if it gets lost, stolen, or damaged, I'm not responsible to replace it. All right, so let's see what I've done so far. So I know I pulled this out a while ago when I said, yeah, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to give it to someone who shaves regularly because once you get kind of old, your hair doesn't grow that fast. So so this is an aftershave balm, body balm. And it's got tea tree oil. It's Australian body care. So this is um, going to be helpful for someone. And I know I've got more sponges than this to give away, but I picked this one. This one I got in like a boxy charm. And I think this one was valued at $65. I know, crazy. I just got some other ones that were like 40 something. But anyway, these Beauty Blender Bars sponges, I don't use them. So anyway, but I know a lot of people do. Some of the younger generation probably uses this. So this will be in there. We've got this Star Skin. This lip mask. We've got this LM Lemon. Superfood all in one rescue butter. We've got two brushes. So one's going to be an eyeshadow brush and one's a blending brush, maybe for contour, maybe for highlight. I don't know. It's real. Hashtag Nancy has no idea. It's real. So I just got three of these and my add ons from Vinyl Box. One of my favorite boxes in the world. Yeah probably don't know that because I probably don't say it enough but anyway I got three of these makeup erases from them so I'll put one of them in the giveaway because I love 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 these 
and this is from the same product from the Look Fantastic box I just opened for the hair shampoo. So, Szechuan Styling Cream, straight up curly. So it's a nice full size product, so that will be in there. And this is a self tanning lotion that I was going to use because you can see I'm kind of pale and I don't sit out in the sun or anything like that. But anyway, I decided to put this in here even though we're going into fall and people might have some tans. Maybe they've been to tanning booths, maybe they tanned at the beach, or maybe they just want to prolong their tan. So I figure we will put that in there. This black nail polish. And this was in one of the glossy boxes not too long ago. So I know I used this back in the 70s when it wasn't really popular. I thought it was the cat's meow or whatever you want to say. I thought it was so cool with my white goth lipstick and my black nails. Yeah, it was, it was not a good look. It was not that pretty, but I know people are back to using like the darker colors and people might want to use it for Halloween for the fall or whatever. So I'll put that in there. And we got this Avant, this lip balm. product. I've got one that I'm using now so that will be perfect for a giveaway. I do have a, quite a few eye serums so I think I can part with this one. This is Balance Me. It's a vitamin C brightening eye serum. So we'll have that. Focus please. We got this other kind of lip gloss. This is kind of like a corally color. I-T-E-M item? I don't know. So anyway, this, um, I think it's just going to be too dark for me. So that will be in there as well. We've got this Pixie Glow Tonic. I forgot what this was for. Oh, it's getting kind of blown out, but it says it's a glow tonic. I think it's an exfoliating primer or serum or something like that. And from Complex Culture. And I was really thinking I was going to try this. So this is a bronzer. And this compact. And it, I mean, to me, it looks like it's probably close to my skin tone, right? So I was thinking I was going to actually try this because it wasn't too dark and I thought it would be great, but I know I'm not going to use it. It's still sitting here. I got this months ago. So I'm sure someone else can use this, put it to good use. So it'll be this from Complex Culture. And this, oh my gosh, I hate giving this away because I really, really, really wanted to try this. It's uh, from Ofra. It's the On The Glow palette. I think this has like $145 value. I got one in a box and then I got one as an add-on for a giveaway as well. And I was going to use one and yeah, I haven't used it yet. So. It is so, so pretty, but I know I'm not going to use it, but we've got these highlighters, we've got these bronzers, kind of almost looks like maybe a blush on one, but so, so pretty. So I think it's time to give this to someone who's going to use it. So that's everything so far that I've got set aside for the giveaway. And again, I'll be adding more products just to kind of fill up whatever box I choose. And again, we will do that giveaway on September 25th, so in two more Sundays. So anyway, the code word again is enter me. I'll have um, the full disclosure below. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited you guys are here. I need to go set my coffee and put on more whipped cream. Thanks again, Elma, for the tip on Don's coffee. I am loving this. The flavors that I've got so far from them. I don't think there's a flavor that I got that I, I didn't like and I've had this like a bourbon bacon or bacon something. That one's it's just kind of got a smoky type flavor. I've got the booseberry, actually blueberry coffee that's really good. Oh uh, the black Russian coffee is one of my favorite. I've got the holy cannoli coffee that I had like from Smart Sips too. It's in with the bones that's really good. Looking forward to trying the caramel apple pumpkin it's really really good and yeah so i think that's about it i've probably been rambling on longer than i should have so i want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it means so much to me i hope everyone goes out has a great weekend i guess the weekend's over have a great week everyone 
and um, remember the code word is going to be enter me. Um, you do have to be uh, have a US mailing address, you do have to be publicly subscribed and everything else below. I just want to thank you guys so much. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. Hope you give my video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel grow. And I appreciate, I love each and every one of you. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, so we will all talk soon. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Holy smoke, please. That was a big bird. That was a big bird. It might have been a bat. I don't know. It's scary out here in the wilderness.